Hi everyone, this is part two of our secret section and showing how Britain has been succumbed and taken over by the spirit of Satan. There's an old prophecy that King Arthur would rise just like Jesus Christ, the king, when a time of darkness would take over Britain and most of the world, and a time of the deception would be going on, just as we showed with Princess Diana, and then coming back to Prince William, which has been literally engineered and groomed for something. They have his name also as Arthur. This is darkness, as we've shown part of the deception. There was a UFO incident even in, in Britain in 1980. The same thing as the Roswell incident. So there is obviously some type of fallen angel things going on. Right there. Well in this movie it shows that somewhere the real spirit of King Arthur, the real spirit of Jesus will be rising. And these signs are all around us. Today we're going to take a look at a, another area over here. This is called Hebron. This is in the USA. On our channel we've shown how all the world is as a matrix. And if these things are shown all around us. Right here is King Arthur Road. see King Mark right there and then Queen Igraine which was the mother of King Arthur King Mark King Arthur just like the second coming of Jesus Christ as we shown the book of Mark and that the reason for that name is because of the A R K the Ark of God to get rid of the fallen angel Satan and then Jesus will have the ark to carry the souls King Arthur as we've shown Britain needs to be saved just like the USA and right over here is Excalibur right there Remember, Satan will be sitting at the feet of the woman, ready to consume the child that is ready to be born, to go to the throne of God, to rule all of the universe, meaning Jesus, King Arthur. Then you can see the name Mark, as we've shown, meaning the second coming of Jesus Christ, and the Ark, and King Arthur. So we can see that this is a imposter put together by the Queen they have literally engineered him with Princess Diana, who they killed off. And then he was born on an eclipse. They force-borned him. They made him do it. Anyway, they um, induced labor. He was born during an eclipse, trying to eclipse the sun, the real sun, Jesus. So he's being groomed for something evil. And as we've shown, see here, Lewis, Lucifer, right there. And as we've shown, you can see the beast right here. Can you see the beast as we just shown all around? Sitting at the feet of the woman, trying to consume the child. There he is. Going right after Mark and King Arthur. Meaning the second coming of Jesus Christ. There's your real Prince William and the Queen. Just as we showed, that's why they're messing with Meghan Markle and the USA. See how it's all happening right in front of us? The woman riding the beast, the Queen of England, trying to battle Jesus Christ with all of her ten different kings, and trying to steal the K 
kingdom of God and the throne of God from the second coming of Jesus Christ as we've shown and that's why they keep attacking the USA in many ways pure evil it's even shown in this movie that the real savior and everything does not come from a princely position this guy was working in the stables with horses and his bloodline led to he was actually the real king meaning the second coming of Jesus Christ with the sword to defeat the dark beast the imposter Lucifer that's why Donald Trump says make America great again there he is just as we shown it will even be shown up in Alaska look at that there it is King Arthur Excalibur representing the real Jesus Christ coming as we shown and that's the Satan character that we shown he'll actually be mapped out in Alaska let's go take a look this is Alaska near the Prince William Sound right here and now you can see part of the beast up here again going after Mark meaning Jesus Ark they are after the Ark is what it's shown over and over again that's what they're all after There he is, with the feet of the bear, and there's the bear. There they are, and they're going after Mark. See how it's right in front of us? The Ark. Now we're going to show what the Ark uh, really looks like. It's mapped out in Denver, this same picture, and it'll show Luis. Lucifer way at the top up there. See Lewis? There's part of Satan again. Lewis. There he is with the feet of the bear, Satan. One of those ten kings. Going after the Ark. Let's go take a look at this in Denver now show how it's mapped out there. This is Denver, Colorado and it's already all mapped out. That's Jesus Ark, the Flying J. See there, the Flying J. And as we showed before about the sixth seal when he goes to the throne That's Jesus' warship, the sixth seal, when he takes the throne. It makes war in the heavens. And there's the bear. And right up here at the top of the bear, Lewis. the 42 that the beast had. See, they're running out of time. Lewis, right there. Trying to steal the Ark. Lewis. And that's why the president says, make America great again. Great Britain. Even down to the King Arthur prophecy. See how he's trying to eclipse the sun. See here, Prince William was born during an eclipse to eclipse the sun, to eclipse Jesus Christ. It's going on. The woman on the beast has engineered and created <laughs> these guys, even using Princess Diana. And you can see how it's a real battle. Pure evil, the woman on the beast. Pure evil. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. There he is. Underground. Just like over in Britain, they talk of the underground. That's Jesus' warship. That's what they're after. The throne. When he takes the throne. 
right here. I like this part because this is, comes back to even James Bond and 007, the seven heads and ten horns of the beast. You know God wrote that in there like that. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks and the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? That's when Jesus takes that ark up to the temple and casts out all of the other guys. He casts out all of them. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Just as when Jesus entered the temple and took the whip of cords and beat out all the money changers and things confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah this is mapped out in another place over in Britain let's go take a look at that real quick and show how this is going on of the evil that's taken over the palace there this is in Britain in a place named Mark and you can actually see the one of the ten horns here going right after Mark right where the white horse inn is the white horse is when Jesus rides against the beast see the white horse inn see how these clues are around the white horse is what takes out the beast and the false prophet all the way up to the elephant all the way up to the bear way up there see how the bear is lording over everything the pit There's the white horse. And right here is our big clue. William. See that? The human, William. Is one of those ten horns. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. That's one of the ten horns of the beast working with the Queen of Revelation 17 the woman on the beast the beast from the pit and these ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but receive power as kings one hour with the beast these have one mind they're all the same these shall make war with the Lamb thank you very much everybody I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb and may God have mercy on us all there it is, it says right there that William is one of the ten horns. God have mercy. Why is the water dropped? There are rumors. The legend of the sword of a king other than yourself. Find him. story. What kind of a man would you become had you inherited your father's kingdom instead of being raised in a brothel? Run, son! What gave you such drive? Vortigan who murdered your father. But what you didn't account for is what you can do with this sword. You need to be careful. His power is increasing. When people fear you, it is the most intoxicating sensation a man can possess. You're starting to mean something. You're no longer a myth.
wanted to prophesy. Raise that sword! Show the people the power of Excalibur! You're playing with fire. But doesn't it make the palace burn well?